Huh? Oh, what the... Oh my, look at that girl's skirt. It's ripped. What a pity. Are you okay? You can use this towel. Huh? Here you go. Oh. I go to Esbani High School with these people. The two of them met on this one spring day. Thank you. Well, this is when it all started. His name is Yutaka. He's a senior in high school. He usually keeps to himself at school. Others consider him a loner. Apparently, he's into a game called The Donkey's Son, which is popular these days. Yes, that's it. Now I'll... Oh, jeez, Yutaka. How is life in the loner world going for you? You're always playing your stupid game. Uh -huh. The guy messing with Yutaka is Ryuji. He enjoys picking on guys like Yutaka. One day... Okay, you'll be drawing portraits of your partner. The art teacher started pairing the students up to draw portraits. Hey, everybody! Who wants to pair up with Yutaka right here? Oh, no. Nobody? Ah, uh, too bad. <sighs> Ryuji had his way of controlling people. Yutaka had a feeling nobody would be willing to be his partner. However... I'll be your partner. Her name is Shiho. She's known for her beauty. She has a mature demeanor and excels at everything. Let's do this. Oh, uh, okay. Th uh, thank you. <sighs> Ryuji didn't seem happy to see Shiho pairing up with Yutaka. Yutaka was a bit nervous as he looked at Shiho's face to start the portrait. Oh, I've never looked at her face this closely. She's pretty. I wish I had more practice talking to girls. I don't think I can handle her beauty. My hands are shaking, but I can't screw this up. He tried his best, but the portrait he drew of Shiho looked nothing like Shiho in real life. Uh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Hey, can I take a photo? Huh? A, a photo? Um, sure. I wonder if she's angry I screwed up. I would be if someone drew me like that. Is she planning to show everybody? After school, Ryuji was picking on Yutaka. As always. Uh, well, uh, I'm going home now. Uh. I'm not letting you go. You know, I never really liked you. I challenge you to a duel. Ryuji challenged Yutaka to a fight. A, a, a duel? Yeah, let's go. I, I, I don't want to. Hey, yo, Yutaka, stop right there. Yutaka ran as fast as he could. He somehow escapes from having to fight Ryuji. Ah, jeez, what a wimp. Hey, I saw everything you did right now. Don't pick on my big brother, okay? Huh? Eh? Your brother? The next day, Ryuji came up with a horrifying plan. So, that girl, she's Yutaka's little sister. <laughs> I've got a great idea. This is gonna be a fun day. Thank you for your purchase. Okay, I'll get her with this. He connected the water hose to the faucet, and he waited for the little sister to come along. <laughs> She's here! Gotcha! Ah! The water splashed all over the girl. She was drenched. Ryuji took out his phone to make a call. Uh, hello? Oh, Yutaka. Your sister is right here, soaking wet. Huh? Hi! Okay, but after I finish my homework, I have a three-year-old sister. Isn't she cute? Play with me! Fine, okay, I'll play with you. Oh, how can I say no? She's too cute. We are many years apart. Sometimes it feels like she's my daughter. I love spending time and playing with my sister, as much as I love playing games on my phone. Ugh, it's Ryuji. Ryuji, our phone is ringing! Hmm, you're right. I'm gonna answer that, okay? How oh, dare he disturb my time with my sister. I was too scared of what might happen tomorrow if I didn't answer. Uh, uh, hello? Yo, Yutaka! You had some nerve to turn down my challenge yesterday. I figured you needed a punishment. I soaked your little sister with water in the middle of a park. Huh? Ah, uh, poor thing. She's drenched from head to toe. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, my little sister is uh, standing right in front of me. What? I had no idea what he was talking about. But still, I had to do something about this. Ryuji was causing trouble for a stranger because he thought she was my sister. Hey, Yutaka! You better fight me today! I rushed to the park and found a female student drenched in water on the ground. I'll do whatever you say! Just let that girl go! Ha! <laughs> you think you're a hero? Let me remind you that you're just a pathetic loser! <laughs> oh no! He's getting beaten up by the bully Ryuji! Unlike yesterday, he didn't budge today, no matter how many times Ryuji hurt him! He won't fight for himself, but he'll fight to protect others! Seriously, that's enough! <laughs> now I'm satisfied. I guess I'll get going now. The fight finally ended. I couldn't get in a single punch. But that's okay. It's better than somebody unrelated getting hurt because of me. Are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I'll be fine. Let me take you home, just in case. I walked the drenched girl home. It was the least I could do. I tried to ask her why Ryuji thought she was my sister. However... My place is just over there, thank you. Get home safely, okay? You are such a caring brother. Hmm, there's something mysterious about that girl. She seemed to know me somehow. The girl walked off, leaving me behind, confused. Do I have another little sister? I should check the family tree. Yutaka started to suspect he had an unknown sister. He realized that there might be secrets that nobody had told him. He looked into the family tree, but... Nah, uh, there's nothing here. Who was that then? I couldn't stop there. I had to find out who she was. I went to the city hall. Hmm, this is my first time looking at the family registry. But there's nothing there that I don't already know. Things are starting to feel a little creepy. Uh, Dad? Mom? I don't have a little sister in high school, do I? What are you talking about? She's your only sister. Hmm, Mom's telling the truth. What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. <laughs> so then, who the hell is she? The next day, Yuji came over to talk to me. Uh, what do you want? Do you want to beat me up again? I told you I would let unrelated people go. I never said things were over between us. I guess, but still. If you don't want me to pick on you anymore, you gotta make me laugh. Make you laugh? I had a bad feeling, and I was right. Hmm, let's see. You should ask Shiho out. But why? Remember? She was nice to you the other day. Who knows? She might say yes. If you do it, I'll promise not to pick on you for the rest of your pathetic high school life. I couldn't stand being around Ryuji anymore. And so I said, I I'll do it. When I really shouldn't have. <laughs> He's gonna be so embarrassed. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets dumped. I thought about it hard that night. Uh, should I be doing this? Do I have to listen to what he says? I want him to stop messing with me. I do, but... I don't want to cause unnecessary trouble for Shiho. I'll be your partner. Oh, she's so kind. Hey, can I take a photo? Even to a loser like me. Do I... actually like Shiho? I finally realized my true feelings. I liked Shiho. Not as a friend, but more. Uh, she's going to dump me anyways. I should be honest and tell her how I feel. After concluding my thoughts, I went out to get a present for her. I planned on giving it to her when I asked her out. Gosh, what should I buy her? My little sister was too young, so I couldn't ask her for advice on what to get a high school girl. I didn't know where to start. Just then... Hey! Oh, you're... I bumped into the girl who had claimed to be my little sister. Why did you tell Ryuji I was your brother? It's a secret. Wait, uh, before that, uh, who are you? It's a secret. Mm, not even a hint. So, what are you doing here today? Uh, I'm here to buy a gift for somebody. Oh, for a girl? What is your crush like? Cute? Beautiful? She wouldn't peep a word about who she was. She sure seems curious about my life. I couldn't help, but... Uh, actually... Tell her all about Shiho and how I was planning to ask her out soon.
I see. How about I help you out with that, then? I have some great ideas for presents. You bumped into the right person. Uh, oh, uh, really? Yep, I'll make sure you pick the perfect gift. I still had no idea who this girl was. But I was grateful for her help since she was around the same age as Shiho. The mysterious girl helped me pick out a present for Shiho. She was good. Thank you. Hmm, a hairpin. I hope Shiho likes it. Yutaka-kun? We were about to head home when... Sh uh, Shiho? We bumped into Shiho on our way out. Uh, what are you? Huh? Uh, uh, no, uh, this is... Shiho looked at the girl standing next to me. Oh, crap. She probably thinks I came here with this girl. What do I do? I need to come up with an excuse. Oh, uh, well, uh, she's my little sister. Well, we're not related by blood, but she's... Uh... Sister? You're not related by blood? She looks more suspicious than ever. Hey, that's your chance to tell her! Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. There was nothing to stop me. Hey, um, I... I really like you, Shiho. Will you go out with me? Huh? The next day. Yo, Yutaka. Why don't you ask Shiho out now? Don't tell me you forgot our promise. I saw Ryuji messing with Yutaka. As always. I already did. I realized I had true feelings for her. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, you may not have realized, but I've seen Shiho looking at me quite often. There's no way she would go for a loser like you. I can't believe you actually asked her out. You should know your place. Shiho is too good for you. Ryuji walked over towards Shiho. Shiho, will you be my girlfriend? Ryuji was doing it just to humiliate Yutaka in front of everybody. He was so sure Shiho would pick him over Yutaka. However... No way. Uh, uh huh? I already have a boyfriend. Shiho then stood up and... This is my boyfriend. Held onto Yutaka's arm. What? What? I, I, I thought she dumped you, Yutaka! I told you I asked her out, but I never said she dumped me, Ryuji. Ryuji was so confident, but it turns out he was a pathetic one. And everybody was there to see it. Y you've got to be kidding me! Ah, oh, damn it! Hmm. You reap what you sow. He deserved it all. He was known as a pathetic narcissist until the day he graduated. I can only imagine how depressing it must have been for him. Let's get back to Yutaka and Shiho for a moment. Wow, I've liked you for a long time, Yutaka. What? Uh, are you serious? Yup, you may not remember. But there was this time when my skirt got stuck in my bicycle. It ripped. You helped me out that day. I felt for you that instant. You're the kind of person that helps people in need, no matter what. Oh, Shiho. Thank you. Shiho confessed her feelings for Yutaka as well. And so, they happily ended up together, and... Yay! Congrats, guys! So you might actually become my big brother! Huh? As it turns out, the girl's name was Shino. She was Shiho's little sister. Shino always knew that her big sister had feelings for Yutaka. Oh, I see. So that's why it was a secret. Shiho, you dummy! Seriously, jeez! It felt nice having a big brother! I can already imagine us as a family! Shino wanted her sister to be happy with the person she loved. She called Yutaka her older brother, in hopes that he would become a real brother someday. It's too early to call me that! <laughs> My bad, bro! But I'm so happy for you two! Hey, did you know? Shio kept showing me photos of the ridiculously untalented portrait of herself that you drew. Shiho, don't tell him about that! I know that everybody loves a happy ending. I'm glad to see them all smiling together. Yutaka never found Shino's name in the family register. However, I hope the sisters will become new branches of the family tree. Thanks for listening. Sincerely, Yakobi. Uh, ah, that hurts! Oh, I screwed up! Inamoto, you idiot! Why did you have to tackle Ida's thing? You were supposed to be heading for the goal! Uh, I wish there were a hole I could hide in. My name is Ryo Inamoto. I'm 158 centimeters and I love basketball more than anything in the world. I'm a junior at Esmani High School. I practice basketball from morning to night. 
Don't be so hard on yourself. This is Yakubi-kun. He's known as a rule breaker of the school, but I happen to know he's a kind-hearted person. Yo! Idrasail Ferila Eros! Bodovit! Uh Bodovit! Ikostath! Mega Sisne for it did! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ryo, you never cease to amaze me. You're the only one who can talk to Bodvit, the international student like that. How did you know the language he speaks? I learned it after he came here. It wasn't that hard, and it feels nice talking to him. It's not something anybody can do. You're so talented. Why are you so hung up on basketball? It's not easy to let go of. There was a reason for my obsession with basketball. It goes back to basketball team tryouts last year. Basketball. I'm too short to be a player. That was my first thought then. Wow, look at that guy over there. I got this. What? Stop! The senpai with the ball was only 157 centimeters. He was shorter than me. However... He ran through five players like a streak of lightning. I want to be like him. That is the only reason I stayed on the basketball team. I've been giving it my all since I started playing. Uh, ow! I excuse me for a second. Huh? Is he okay? Uh, ouch! Can I just say something? You're talking about Inamoto at morning practice, right? I was stuck in one of the stalls when my team members came in. Why won't he quit already? He runs around with no purpose, and it's irritating to watch. I get you, man. Doesn't he know he's too short to play basketball? I knew it. They all want me off the team. I started regretting my decision to stay on the team. It was causing so much trouble. One day, after school... Ah, uh, Inamoto. Yes? You're going to be doing a free throw match. If you lose, you'll join the girls basketball team to practice. What? We always had free throw matches during practice, but that was the first time hearing about a penalty. He will be your opponent. May the best win. What? My opponent was a sophomore, but he was known as the star player. There was no way I was going to win. You'll have five chances. The one with the more goals will be the winner. Ready? Go! It wasn't surprising that I lost. I made one shoot while the star player succeeded at four shots. <laughs> yeah, I expected that. A promise is a promise. You'll be joining the girls starting today, Inamoto. Okay. Don't worry. We'll let you back in once you get better. I hope you have fun with the girls. Uh, thank you. And so, I was basically kicked out of the boys' basketball team. I trudged over to the girls' team to practice with them. I can't believe we have to practice with a boy. Uh, thank you for accepting me. Why can't you just quit if you can't keep up with the boys' practice? Jeez. Come on! The captain of the boys' team needs us to do this! Her name is Hinako. She's been my friend since kindergarten. She's an extremely talented basketball player. Thanks a lot, Hinako. Oh, well, uh-huh. Let's start with two-on-two -two practices. We used to hang out quite a lot, but things got awkward between us after a certain incident. Imamoto, over here! Uh, uh here? S uh, sorry are you kidding me? Why are you passing the ball to your enemy? I always practice after school practices. I have a favorite spot in a nearby park. <sighs> I practice so hard every single day. Why don't I get any better? Maybe I should give up. Yo, stop thinking about giving up. Huh? You love basketball, right? Yakubi-kun. Yakubi-kun is athletic. He's a better player than me. Playing with him made me feel like I hadn't improved at all. What are you talking about? Did you forget? You couldn't even dribble back when you started. He's right. Things may be moving slowly, but I am improving. Isn't that Inamoto over there? Oh, yeah. Well, Ryo probably practices harder than anybody at her school. Uh, uh, ouch! Uh, it's hurting again. What is going on? Uh, am I... Uh, I need to use the restroom. Okay. Hmm, again... I'm getting worried about him. I dreaded the following school day the most out of the whole year. Whoa, Bodfit, that's insane! You're 189 centimeters? What a beast! Ugh, annual physical exams. Why do I have to be so short? I don't know how many times I've asked myself that question. Compared to that, Ryo, you're adorable! Stop it! 
I've grown three millimeters since last year. A few weeks later, after I joined the girls' basketball team for practices, the boys and girls' teams got together for a joint practice training camp. Okay. Guys, we'll be splitting the gymnasium in half so each team can practice with each other. Um, coach, what about me? Inamoto, you'll be practicing with the girls team. Okay. <laughs> he came all the way to run around with girls. Well, it'll be nice to practice with players with the same skill level. You better work hard. You've got a lot to learn from them. The first day of training camp, I was with the girls team just like the coach ordered me to. Girls, gather around. Here! Here. Gosh, look at him. <laughs> He's so pathetic. Ryo-chan, you got this. We're rooting for you, girl. <laughs> I'll get better and get back into the boys' team to show them. Okay, girls, we'll be following the practice menu I set up and handed out earlier. Okay. okay. Oh, about your practice menu, Ryo. The captain and I set up a special menu. Read through it so you know what to do during practice. Okay, thanks. Hinako handed me a sheet of paper with a different schedule than the other girls. It was harder than the training I did back when I used to practice with the boys. Whoa, what the heck? Hinako's putting you through hell! Still, if he can't do this, he's not capable of playing with us. I'll give it my all. That's all I can do now. I had finished Hinako's practice plan and was lying down getting some rest. Uh, I'm gonna die... Oh, there you are. Uh, Hinako! What's up? Take off your clothes! Huh? I said take off your clothes! Hinako... What is going on with her? What? why Stop wasting my time! Take off your clothes! Uh, okay... I had no idea what the hell was going on, but she was too frightening to say no to. Am I even allowed to take my clothes off in here? I started to pull my underwear down, but... H hey Why are you taking that off? But you said to take it off. I didn't tell you to strip down naked, you perv! And so, I ended up naked except in my underwear. Okay, now that you're ready, we'll be starting practice now. What? I didn't understand the purpose of this. Hinako called me a perv, and I agreed. He plays basketball in his underwear. Hey, I thought you wanted to get better. You need a man up if you want to improve. Okay. It was a complete mystery to me but I had no choice but to continue practicing basically naked. <laughs> it's burning! Move faster! You need to bend your knees! I knew that I had to work ten times harder if I wanted to improve during the training camp. Still... I... I can't do this! Rio, don't run from this! She's right! You won't get better if you run from this! I... just can't anymore! My crotch is in pain! I can't take it any longer! Your crotch? Yeah, I think when you and I... But we only did it once. How could it hurt because of it? After practice, I went back to the room I shared with the guys. <laughs> Yo, man, I practiced my ass off back there. Did you hear? Yo, chan was practicing with nothing on but underwear. <laughs> what? It wasn't my fault. They told me to. My first day was awful. I wonder what they'll make me do tomorrow. The next day... What? What is this? When I woke up, my mattress was covered in bright red blood. What is this? Am I sick? Is this seriously happening because Hinako and I... Oh crap! I gotta do something before everyone wakes up! Uh, I think I lost too much blood. I feel so dizzy and lightheaded. Okay, let's get started on your training. You can't run off like you did yesterday! Okay, um, can't I practice with clothes on, like everybody else? Of course you can't. Uh, but... Stop fidgeting, be a man! Uh, okay... A few hours later, the girls kept making me practice in this ridiculous attire. Oh no... I'm not going to make it... Rio! He was working so hard. Suddenly, he collapsed onto the gymnasium floor. What the? Hey, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I think he's bleeding. All I had thought about was helping Rio get better. Did we make him train too hard? But that doesn't explain the bleeding. Could, Could it, it be? be? We moved Rio to the girls' room to get him more comfortable. He's short, but he's still a guy. It wasn't easy carrying a teenage boy to our room. Now 
that we brought him here, what do we do? I guess we should take off his underwear. What? Hinako? I don't think that's appropriate. I know, but I have a feeling this is my fault. Your fault? What do you do to make you think that? I don't know what you're thinking, but we're here if you need help. We belong to the same team. We should be there for each other no matter what. Ready, Ready set, set? What, what the heck? heck? Hey, Hinako, what happened with you and Inamoto? Well... A week later, I was taking a test to see if I was good enough to return to the boys' team. Hmm, I don't think you've had enough practice, but whatever. Fine, we can do a one-on-one, -on -one, okay? The captain was good. I didn't know how I would do it, but I knew I had to win. I'm so sorry, I pushed you way too hard. It's okay. Anyways, thanks for helping me when I collapsed. You got this! Ryo! Hey, Hinako, what happened between you and Inamoto? Well, there was this one day. Ryo and I practiced for over 10 hours straight. What? Ryo told me he was desperate. We went to the park to practice together. I remember him mentioning something about his crotch back then, but I ignored him and forced him to keep running. Oh, thank God it was just basketball! I'm so relieved! What did you think it was? I collapsed because the excessive training caused my shorts to rub and damage my crotch. I used some medication cream and my crotch is all better now. Hinako explained that she made me practice in underwear to strengthen me mentally and to build confidence. I don't necessarily agree with her methods, but I understand she did it because she cared about me. Let's do this! The thing to do right now is to do everything I can not to disappoint the girls who helped me improve my skills. What? Back when my crotch was in pain, I always moved to protect it. That's why nobody ever saw my true abilities. Now that I am healed, I'll show them what I've got! Yay! You, you did, did it! it! Everything I went through was worth it. That's how I felt at that moment. I still have a long way to go, but I will never give up my dream of becoming that senpai. Ow! <laughs> Thanks, you guys! <laughs> Ouch! Hmm... What should I visualize next? I'm Moroboshi. I'm the leader of the world-famous Moroboshi Group. I'm an entrepreneur, doctor, and a scientist. Hmm, I want to try something different this time. Nico, Keita. Yes? What's up? I'm trying to figure out what to visualize next. Got any ideas? Anything troubling you? How about how much you love me? I'd love to know. Oh, I love you very much, Nico. Then promote me to S class. Uh, maybe later. What about you, Keita? Anything troubling you? Uh, not sure. I'm pretty satisfied with my life, so, uh... Hmm, I see. What are people concerned about these days? Not sure, but when you're really worried about something, it's kind of hard talking to someone else about it. Hmm, he's got a point there. Ah, I got an idea. I'm gonna conduct an anonymous survey and find out what people are concerned about these days. A few days later... Hmm, interesting. This is it. Hey, Moro the Third, I know what I want to visualize next. Understood. Updating the code now. All set. This time, it's only for boys, right? Boring. I'm kind of relieved. I wonder what the numbers mean this time. Come on, guys, take your seats. Miss Yamada, look at her. Hey, the number's on their heads. It's getting higher. You're right. Is it because class started? Maybe it's the number of brain cells in use. She's so hot. Oh, what a view. Hey, babe. Wanna hang out? <laughs> Check out my score. Uh, we don't even know what the numbers mean yet. Why is he so confident? Yo, what a loser. Let's get out of here. It's a home run. Gonzalez Tanaka does it again. What a beast. And as always, the number on his head is zero. Wow, you got a 92, sir? 
Oh, amazing! <laughs> Thanks! Just keep at it and you'll get there someday. <laughs> Here's your coffee, sir. Hey, they're about to tell us what the numbers mean. Hello, everyone. Yamaguchi here. So, uh, these numbers in our heads, we finally figured it out. It's the energy level of a man's, uh, you know what? That's why the numbers are constantly changing throughout the day. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Damn. Let's see what the people have to say about this. So, what do you think about all of this? Did you uh, check your husband's score? Yeah, but I'm in my 50s, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, 70%, huh? Not bad. How do you feel right now? Oh, horrible! Help me! Now all the girls at school are gonna find out that I'm horny as hell! Any thoughts? I like it. I love seeing my boyfriend's number go up. It's kind of cute. I see. Interesting thought. Thank you. Well, uh, looks like there are mixed feelings about this. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more. Hey, sis. I got tickets to the baseball game. Everyone's freaking out about the number, but you seem fine. Yeah, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. I guess. Uh, the game is starting soon. Let's head out. Two outs, base loaded. Next up, Gonzalez Tanaka. I was freaking out. They call him the baseball cyborg. Let's see if he can save his team. Everyone's staring at my number. I can't focus. And his score is still 0%. I guess baseball is all he cares about. Stop it. This is so embarrassing. He strikes out! Ah, oh, so close! Maybe he's feeling under the weather. Aww, oh, too bad. Yeah, oh well. Uh, what a day. Oh, it's from Akina. Akina, oh boy. Akina was a childhood friend of mine. When I was in high school, she was the assistant of the baseball team. She meant a lot to me, but then I ended up hurting her. Uh, I can't focus. Oh, is that Gonzalez? Wow, it's really him! Can I shake your hand? Can I get your autograph? Oh, sure. Sorry about today. Oh, it's fine. Don't feel so bad. Yeah, we all have bad days. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. It might be time for me to quit. This number on my head, it's ruining me. What? Why? Yeah, you want to talk about it? I decided to talk to them. Not sure why, but I felt like I could trust them with my secret. So, uh, yeah. Huh, so you want to increase your score, huh? I know just the person to talk to. So, you want to increase your score? He introduced me to Mr. Moroboshi. I wasn't expecting that. But maybe he can help me. Yeah, I can't focus anymore. It's really distracting. Can you help him out, Moroboshi? I really need some help. Hmm, I see. I injected everyone with Moro the Third to measure their activity levels. That's how the number on their heads is calculated, so... I think I know what the problem is. You're suffering from some kind of trauma from the past, aren't you? What? How did you know? I can help you, but I need to know more about your past. Is that okay? Uh, okay. I decided to tell him everything. When I was in middle school, this older girl started hitting on me. She thought I'd be a professional baseball player one day, so that's why she approached me. But she really scared me, and I've been scared of women ever since. I've never told anyone about this, and after I got famous, it just got even harder to talk about it. Hmm, I see. It's all in your head. I see. But it felt really good to tell someone about it. 
But no worries. We can fix this. Thank you, sir. Of course. Come see me at Motoboshi Mental Clinic next week. We'll fix this together. Oh, thank you. I'm Gon's biggest fan. I've been rooting for him for as long as I can remember. It's the playoff finals! The big day is finally here! Hope Gonzalez is feeling better today. He hasn't been doing so well lately. Hope everything is okay. I always watch his games on TV. I used to go to the stadium, but... Akina, I love you. Love you too! Many years ago, we went out. Then one night, we tried to make love for the first time. But then, his thing, it didn't work. It's not your fault. It's my fault. I know I'm not pretty. You deserve something better. No, it's not like that. We kind of grew apart after that. We were still friends, but I decided to keep my distance. He deserves someone better. I was fine with being on the sidelines. Oh, it's from Gon. Hmm, I wonder what changed. Then Gon was up. Oh, bottom of the ninth. It all comes down to him. Gonzalez Tanaka. Will he be able to save his team? You got this! Akina, watch this. I love you, Akina! Huh? What a hit! It's out of here! He's back! Tanaka is back! Wait, what's this? It's a message card. It looks like he's dedicating this home run to a special someone. You've always been there for me. Thank you so much. I've always loved you. When I hit the ball, I'll think about you. Pay attention to the number on my head, because that's how I feel about you. Done! What a comeback! What a beast! Ladies and gentlemen, the cyborg is back! Done! Oh, Akina, you came! Yeah, I got your message! Oh, uh, right. Um, uh, sorry about uh, everything. For what? When we were dating, I ended up hurting you because uh, I couldn't get it up. But that was my fault. No, it wasn't. You see, I told her everything about my past, and I also told her that I overcame it. Akina, will you go out with me? Again? Of course! But, uh, we should do something about that first. <laughs> Oh, uh, right. <laughs> um, uh, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a game. A home run dedicated to his girlfriend? That's so romantic. Yeah. Yeah, that was sweet of him. I'm glad he got over his trauma. <laughs> that was interesting. What should I visualize next? Oh, it's Yamaguchi. My name is Moroboshi. I'm the head of one of the world's largest conglomerates, Moroboshi Conglomerate. I'm interested in business and I'm also a scientist and a doctor. Today, I've invited my good friend Keita to spend some time in the underground hot springs I built under my home. Wow, oh, Moroboshi! Your new pool is the best ever! There's a lot of different pools to try! <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I decided to make it on a whim. It's dark, and it looks like a secret base! I'm usually down here with the maids, but sometimes it's good to have a night with just the guys. Ah, uh, if I had a place like this, I would spend every day in here. Uh, I think I'm getting a little lightheaded. Oops! Be careful! <laughs> Motobushi, you must be Superman! Keita, I need a favor, and you're the only one I can ask. Huh? Morning! Hey, good morning! My name is Yuji. I'm a senior in high school. As a high school student, you almost have to play sports to be cool. I may not be great at studying, but I hold my own in sports. I just got some exciting news today. Hey, hey, did you see the news this morning? Did something happen? I didn't see it today. 
There's a water sports event. And there's a cash prize for the winner. Oh my god. Cash prizes? Yeah. I bet I could win first place. And get some cash that we can use to go and make some great memories for our last year in school. That's a great idea. Hey, wait. It says it's for a six-member team. Huh. Really? Yeah, and there's only four of us. What are we going to do? Hmm. Let me think about it. My name is Taise. I don't like working in groups, and I don't like to stand out. I guess you could say I'm a loner. As usual, today I'm just sitting quietly in the classroom. Or so I thought. Ah! This is perfect! You are going to be on our team! Well, what For the water sports event. We don't have enough people, so we need you. But... Good, it's decided. Wha... what I'm not good at athletics. Even so, Mr. Ambitious decides to choose me to join their team. The day before the water sports event... Ah, uh, even with Taisei, we still only have five members. We still need one more. Ah, uh, I'd like to try if you're okay with it. Ha, <laughs> of course! Emmy, it would be great if you were on the team. Alright, we'll meet tomorrow at the venue. Let's win and make some money! Let's go! Yeah! yeah! The day of the water sports event. Whoa! Wow! This is the venue? I never knew there was something like this here. I heard that Mr. Motoboshi of the Motoboshi conglomerate made this venue just for this event. Really? It's amazing! Oh, there are a lot of spectators too. It's going to be an exciting day! Huh, <laughs> they're all here to watch me win. Huh? Oh, I can't believe this place. Alright, alright! Thanks everyone for coming today! This is the water sports event presented to you by Motoboshi Conglomerate! All the events were planned and directed by my good friend Motoboshi! Are you ready? Let's have some fun! <laughs> Keita is really good at getting everyone excited. I'm glad I asked him to do it. First of all, let me show you how to do it with a demo! That's right, a demo! Here it goes! That announcer is not only good at entertaining everyone, he's got some athletic skills too. I don't think I can do this. Keita! Great job! Keita, give me the peace sign! I can do better than that! That's how it is done! The team who gets the fastest total time gets the cash prize from Motobushi! Winning is important, but let's be sure to have some fun! Be safe and don't hurt yourself! Okay, that prize is ours! Yeah! Good luck! Uh, uh thanks! On your mark, get ready, go! Once the race began, it was a battle while many of the participants fell into the water one after another. Yuji was running at the front of the pack. <laughs> oh man, this is easy! Wow, Yuji from Money High School is in the lead! Yuji is known for his balance. Oh, so fast! Very fast! They are jumping over the logs floating on the water one after another! They are going so fast that the logs are moving, and the distance between them has become quite large. I wonder what the kid in the back will do in that case. Huh, uh-oh! Did Yuji lose his balance? Nope! That was a casualty of war! Wait, he just pushed his teammate and jumped onto his log! Hey, Yuji! Sorry, you won't be forgotten. What? This is a team event! <laughs> One of his team members went under. He may be trying to get to the end to reduce the overall time. Oh, I see. Looks like everyone is ahead of me. Like I said, I'm not very good at sports. I wasn't going to worry about the time. I was just going to go at my own pace. But when I went to jump on the next log... Uh, 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 I slipped! I can't swim! Okay, okay! The leading teams are coming to the goal! Who's going to be first? Hey, Motoboshi! The kid who just fell hasn't come up yet! Really? It's been too long! I'm going to check! Uh, Keita! What are you doing? <sighs> so this is how my life ends. This won't look good. Hey! That's Emmy! No, I can't breathe! Hold on! I'm coming! Uh-oh! Uh um, um... I don't know how to swim! 
Kato! <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> Emmy, still down there. What? Oh, this is bad. She swallowed a lot of water. We have to do CPR. Okay, it looks like she's going to be okay. Keita, how are you doing? I'm doing great, all because of you. Okay, shall we go back to the announcer's box? Taisei? Uh, yes? I'll leave the rest up to you. What do you mean? Talk to you later. <laughs> Where am I? Emmy, are you okay? I see. It looks like you fell in and got stuck during the race. I'm glad you were there. Huh? You saved me, didn't you? Thanks. Ah, oh, you're, you're welcome. Oh, so that's what he meant. Leaving the rest up to me. Yuji got to the finish line first. However, the event was too difficult, and none of the teams were able to finish. So, they were all disqualified, and no prize money was awarded. Taisei, how'd you like to go get a snow cone after school today? Ah, okay. After that, can you go shopping with me? <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's kind of like a date, right? What? It is a date, isn't it? Yeah, it's a date. Emmy and I started dating after that. She's a little shy, but that always gets me. Huh, since when were they dating? After the water sports event. Did something happen? Ah, uh, damn it! We didn't get the cash prize. Taisei stole Emmy from me. Nothing good came out of it. Give me back the best days of my school days! Ah, this year's Mani Temple Summer Festival is crowded. Hey, I'm hungry. That's what you just said and you ate takoyaki. What's different? Hey, look at that! Uh, that's... Isn't that Ren's sister? Huh? Oh yeah, it is! Ren, your sister is so pretty. She's like the school idol. Isn't she super popular at school too? She's with a guy. Are they on a date? I've always looked up to Sana. Yes. Yes, my best friend Ren's older sister. Mm, Sana's walking and looking like she's having fun with that guy. Oh, my chest kinda hurts. So this is what everyone calls a period cramp. <laughs> you said period cramp. Oh, Toya, you're too funny. Men can't get period cramps. Really? But I've heard that there's a male period too. A male period? What is that? I've never heard of that. Let's see here. The loosening of the pelvis that happens during a woman's period also happens in men, from a 14-day to 28-day period. It seems like you can be irritable and be unmotivated, and you're a little unstable mentally. Really? I didn't know that. Well, even so, what Tomoya has is different. You're so hurting. This is a physiological pain, so I thought that your chest hurting was like a period pain. That's not a period pain. You're in love. <laughs> Boys are so immature. Yeah, period pain really hurts. It's only something women can understand. I'm just surprised that you look up to my sister. But anyways, I can't think of anything but you thinking your chest hurting with period pain. <laughs> By the way, the guy with her at the festival was just a classmate, and they just happened to be together. I'm Tomoya. I'm in sixth grade. People often tell me I'm oblivious, but I don't know what they're talking about. Even today... Ahem. <clears throat> For today's home economics, we'll be cooking. Break into groups and make a vegetable stir-fry according to the recipe. I'm afraid to let you hold a knife, so you're in charge of sautéing. The girls in my group decided that I was in charge of sautéing. It's true that I've never cooked before, but... Okay, 
Okay, I've cut the veggies in order of what needs the most time cooking, so start sauteing. Okay, leave it to me. Um, they said to put oil on the pan first, right? Uh, hey, what are you doing? What? You told me to put oil on the pan first, so I'm putting it on. But normally, you put oil inside the pan. Huh? Really? Mm, but it doesn't say that anywhere. Uh, that's common sense. I can't believe this. Hmm, maybe I am oblivious. Oh my god. During cooking class, there was something going on with your group. Is everything okay? When I told him about the oil as usual, he burst out laughing. Ren is always enjoying my mistakes more than anyone. Hey, are you free this weekend? Huh? Yeah. Wanna play Money Money Brothers at my house? You're good at it, right? And there's a new character I want. I'm fine with playing video games, but I don't want to go just for your data. What? Come on. My sister's also sad that we can't advance in the game. Son of sad. When I heard that, I had decided. Okay, then I guess I'll help you. <laughs> You're so self-involved. If Sana's playing with us, I'll need to bring us some snacks. I need to buy something. A shopping mall. Hey, is that Tomoya? Do you want some takoyaki? Huh? Is that the school's food stalls employee, Keita? You're also working here? Yep, yep. After school, or when I have time on my days off. Honey, you have so much energy. Okay, I'll take one. I'm going to my friend's house, so I'll take it as a souvenir. Thank you! It's some kind of fate we meet here, so I put in a little surprise for you. I hope you enjoy it. Are you serious? Thank you, Keita. I need to get some other things ready. I see. So you say that it's nothing special, but here you go. Okay. Welcome. Hi. It's time to practice it. Um, this is nothing special, but... What is this huge bag? We're friends. You didn't have to bring anything. Wait, it really is nothing special, huh? You're supposed to bring snacks or something to eat. That would be fine when we were younger, but when I looked it up, it said adults give stuff like sponges. We're in middle school, so we're still kids. Wait, what did you search to find out that people give a ton of sponges as a souvenir? Oh, I also brought takoyaki as a surprise. Oh, so you did bring a normal souvenir. This is all you needed to bring. Well, whatever. Thank you. I'll eat it with my sister. This and that happened, but... We started playing video games in the living room. So, now that we fulfilled the conditions... See? The new character appeared. I knew that you are good at this game. Look at all these new characters. And this is the last one. Alright, all characters have appeared. Aw, oh, thanks. You really helped me out. As thanks, you can take as much as you want of the stuff in the next room. Huh? Really? Thanks. Ren said it casually, but I saw something surprising. Is that... Sana's underwear? Uh, um... Is it really okay for me to take this? Hey, uh, are you sure it's okay? Huh? Has Tomaya never eaten squid and cookies? It's fine. It looks weird, but they're not bad. There's a ton of them, so take as much as you want. They look weird. They're not his type. There's something you wear every day, so I'm sure there's a lot of different types, but... If I take this without asking Sana, won't she get mad? Eh, she doesn't like those that much, so it's fine. So she bought them, but she didn't like the design or something? Oh, okay. So Sana doesn't like them that much. I mean, I think they're cute. I'm really taking them with me then. I also think the shape is cute, but if you don't need it, you can put it back. Uh, I'm home. Oh, uh, hi, Sana. Welcome back. I got all of the game characters you wanted. Oh, Tomoya, you're here. Huh? Game characters? 
What are you talking about? Oh, I don't care about that. Ugh. Hey, man, what's this about? When I asked Ren about his lie, he confessed immediately. Apparently, he wanted to get ahead in the game so bad he lied. <laughs> my bad. He took advantage of my pure heart. I won't forget this. Hey! I don't really care if you tricked him or whatever, but there's like no candy juice or anything. Tomoya! Since you came to someone's house to play video games, go buy some stuff at the convenience store. I'm on my period, so I don't feel well. Oh, uh, okay, I'll go. Sana's different than usual. She's always so nice. The last time I came over... Hi, Tomoya. What would you like to drink? We have cola or orange juice. Which would you like? Oh, thank you. I'll take the cola. Okay, here you go. Thanks for always hanging out with Ren. She smiled at me like an angel. Sorry, when my sister's on her period, she gets in such a bad mood, she's like a different person. Uh, just think of it as an exchange for what I just gave you. Okay, don't worry about it. It's a chance to leave a good impression anyway. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm off. Will Tomoya be okay? What is he planning on buying? Oh yeah, what should I get? Maybe something she needs during her period? Wait, what did Ren just say? Um... I'll leave the rest to you! I got it! I need to wash these too! Alright, I'm done! Now I just need to buy something Sana will like. Hmm, something Sana will like. Oh yeah! I'll get that! <sighs> it's pretty far. But maybe now she'll like me more. Tomoya, you're so nice! You're so different from Ren! Or something like that. <laughs> maybe next year, I'll be going to the festival with Sana. Oh, I'm so excited! What should I wear? I'm back! Ah, uh, that took you a long time. Did you really get something? Is he gonna be okay? Of course! First is this. I made sure to wash it. I heard you didn't like the design, Sana, but I still think you can use it. I made sure to use a professional-grade fabric softener so it's really soft. D huh? Is this my underwear? What is this? What is happening? What? Ren told me I could take as much as I wanted, but I felt bad. When I went shopping just now, Ren told me to take care of it, so I thought I was supposed to wash it. Ren! What is he talking about? Uh, I have no idea what's going on. Why don't the two of you take a seat? Okay. okay. Afterwards, Ren and I recounted our conversation and realized that there had been a terrible misunderstanding. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I see. So you mistook my underwear for squid ink cookies in the same room. I didn't know her underwear was hanging in that room. When I went into the room, what stood out the most was the underwear, so I thought... It's my bad I didn't know her underwear was hanging there, but there's no way I would give you my sister's underwear as a thank you gift. Ah, <sighs> whatever, it's fine. I'm sure whatever you just bought sucks too. No, there's no way, right? Oh, please, make it be something normal. I'm pretty confident that you'll like this. See? I heard it has healing properties, so I bought a health charm at Mani Temple. It was a little far, but I ran there. What? What is with that selection? I wasn't expecting him to buy something warm to warm up her body during her period, but... With what we were talking about, you would normally buy drinks or snacks, right? Oh no, it's over! Huh? I see. Thanks! Uh, really? She's okay with this? Yay! Sana likes it! I got to see her angel-like smile! 
And so, I went home satisfied. Oh my gosh, his obliviousness still surprises me. And he went to get food and comes back with a charm. I thought he would come back with some warm drinks or something. I'm surprised you were fine with that. That's what I thought too, but... When I imagined him running as fast as he could to Mani Temple to buy the charm, it was endearing. <sighs> I thought Tomoya probably thought about it as hard as he could, so... Ah, uh, anyway, I'm glad he got it right in the end. Well, he got it wrong, but... Huh? Extras! <gasps> hey, there's Takoyaki! Can I eat some? That's Tomoya's souvenir. Oh, so he can buy something normal. There's normally 10 pieces, but there's 11. Hmm, did the store mess up? Uh, well, whatever. Huh? I'm gonna have some too. Mm, hey, this is good. Uh-huh. Gee, what is this? It's spicy! Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!